When the moon blots out the sun in a solar eclipse, it can be an amazing sight, and there's a lot of science to do that moment the sky goes dark. We're talking with NASA sun expert Alex Young about what NASA has planned for this upcoming eclipse. Well, so um, this evening uh, around 8.38 p.m. Eastern Time, the sun uh, is going to be blocked out by the moon. This is going to cast a shadow down on Indonesia, starting around Sumatra and traveling across out into the Pacific. And so we have scientists that are uh, down there set up with their equipment to look at the solar corona. And so this is the uh, atmosphere of the sun that is only visible from the ground during a total solar eclipse because it's about a million times dimmer than the solar disk. And this particular part of the solar atmosphere is really critical because it's where all the action is happening. And it's where solar eruptions, solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and all the different parts that make up solar weather are originating from. Okay, and how long will you have to observe this while the sun is obscured? For, for those that are uh, in the area of Indonesia, we'll have roughly four minutes to observe totality. So you mentioned already some of the kind of things you can see, but what data are you hoping to collect? Well, they'll be uh, using different types of cameras. In this case, they'll be looking at uh, polarized light. Uh, normally, you have a camera that uses filters um, to switch between different polarizations of light, but you don't have a lot of time. So what they're using is new types of cameras that allow them to take multiple polarizations of light simultaneously. And so given that they have a short amount of time, the fact that they can do this very quickly is giving them the opportunity to make unique observations to really see the structure and dynamics of what's happening in the corona. Do the scientists need to take any particular precautions while observing it, or is it purely through the instruments? They're doing it purely through the instrument, but they know very uh, precisely when totality is happening. And so during totality, during this short period of time, it's, it's actually very safe to look. You just want to make sure that you're not looking at uh, at the sun when the moon moves out of the way. Um, but they are basically using instrumentation, so it's not something that um, they have to worry about. And this is the only total solar eclipse of 2016, right? It is, and this is one of the reasons this is also a unique opportunity, is they're using it in some ways as staging for the total solar eclipse that's occurring August 21st, 2017, across the continental United States. It's going to be starting uh, in Oregon, traveling down across the U.S., uh, and then ending in South Carolina. And at any one place, you're going to have roughly two and a half minutes of totality. But because it's traveling across the entire U.S., we're lining up instrumentation, identical instrumentation, all along the path, which is basically allowing us to observe the eclipse over a period of hours as opposed to a period of minutes. Okay, so are there any particularly cool effects, you know, uh, just people can observe looking at that eclipse? Well, um, there's a lot of things that are really going to be amazing. So they're going to be able to see this wispy structure where uh, you actually have magnetic fields coming out of the sun creating streams of solar plasma. You can also sometimes see these little red patches around the edge of the sun. These are where solar prominences are happening. This is material from lower down that's actually supported up into the corona by magnetic fields. But the other thing is that there, there are things that will be happening on the ground. So you'll experience total darkness. You can see stars. Um, and also, because it's totally dark, you'll, you'll feel temperature drop, and as well, animals will think it's nighttime, and so there'll be a lot of, uh, all of a sudden, sudden quietness coming from animals. Space.com.